Alright guys, in today's video I will be talking about some brands that Vehicle Legends are probably going to bring out to the game pretty soon. Now, I actually have evidence of this, but before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. And without further ado, let's get right into it. As you all know, if you guys are in the Discord server, Faninian sent a message about how there's going to be five different brands that are going to be that are going to be coming to the game, right? Now, um, these brands are both Italian and I believe British is the other one. I, I might have to recheck that, but I'm pretty sure it's British. And basically, I'm going to be predicting what cars we could be getting from each of those countries in the five brands. So let's get right into it. As you all know, um, when he, if you guys remember, a long time ago, Faninia sent a message about how like one of their Italian car brands was going to start with an L, right? And we all speculated that it was Lamborghini. But as a matter of fact, that's not true anymore because he actually canceled the licensing with Lamborghini. So what this means is he's going to get some other brands. Like we could, we could say like he could get, uh, let's say Lancia licenses because that starts with an L, right? And it's also Italian. So we could get that and uh, we could also expect two other Italian brands, but I don't really know any at the top of my head right now. We already have Pagani's, so that's one. We Do we have any other Italian brands? I don't think so. I think Pagani might be the only one so far. So uh, Lancia, we probably will get Lancia. But other than that, I don't know any other Italian brands that start with an L or any, to be honest with you. If I go in my browser and search up Italian... Oh, I can't type. Italian car brands. Let's see what they got. So uh, we have, oh yeah, Maserati, Pini, Farina, oh yeah, Lancia, Alfa Romeo. So yeah, those those car brands could definitely be getting licensed as well. I could see them licensing Alfa Romeo next week possibly. But I mean, obviously that's not going to happen. But I could see them. Wait, come on, bro. This is legit the 10th time this happened to me, bro. Oh, God, this is getting annoying. No, God! No, God, please, no, 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 no! All right, sorry about that again, bro. This is getting annoying. But anyways, as I was talking about with the Alfa Romeo, uh, also Paneer Farina, like that car is not that expensive, I don't think. So I think that would also be an easy car that they could license. So those are three decent Italian brands that that I'm pretty sure they could easily license. But now I'm going to be talking about some of the British brands that could license that they could license. Now number 1. Now this one I'm not 100% sure but I could see Vehicle Legends licensing McLaren. Now the reason why I say this is because like Pagani like it's really expensive. It's one of the more expensive cars that they need to license so like obviously McLaren like they've already done an event with Roblox so I'm pretty sure they're gonna like maybe charge a little bit cheaper than Pagani but that that brand has like a lot of cars so again it could be possibly another no what am I saying another card from British that I could see them licensing is actually hold on let me search up some brands real quick so here are some British car brands we have Jaguar Ariel which okay I actually didn't know Ariel was from British that's cool Rolls Royce Bentley Lotus Aston Martin Cat Herham MG Motors I could see them getting licenses for all of these we actually have a whole lot more TVR uh, I think McLaren is in here Aston Martin is yeah is there so like that's actually a lot man like we could see two British see she said five different brands at the moment so in my opinion it could either be Lotus it could be I don't know Aston Martin McLaren like you really don't know but there's actually a lot of British car brands that could come to the game but as of right now we really don't know as of right now now another big topic that I want to talk about right now is uh, the map now We've been waiting for this new map to come out for quite a long time, obviously. It's been, I believe, around 
two to three months since like he posted his first teaser about it and we are yet to get any updates but um, he, I mean here's some screenshots of past teasers that he has sent out from before honestly it's sh so far it's turning out to be a pretty cool map but like we don't know when it's supposed to come out but if I were to guess I would say I would say it would be after Halloween cause like if they wanted to like obviously like you know the problem is if you're gonna make the map like fall themed when the map comes out then people won't really know what the map will look like beforehand so that will make people like confused and stuff so like yeah I think it would probably come after Halloween I'd say between like the beginning and the end of November that would be my prediction but I guess we have to wait to see when Fanini is going to be more active and also something else I've noticed is uh, we haven't gotten an update for two weeks so that probably means that she's probably working on some big licenses because two weeks without an update is kind of insane that's why I haven't been really making videos as much on this game so like again uh, I'm gonna update you guys if he does say anything but other than that I don't really have much else to say as of right now but like this is everything I know right now so yeah as I said I'm gonna update you guys if he says anything else but if you found the video helpful don't forget to leave a like on this video it will definitely help a ton and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you stay updated and yeah have a nice day